Pat's Two Cents. You know, we have the most beautiful people in our group on Saturdays. We are God's Church of Love Online. And this particular time, I had just finished bringing the message and we were commenting. And Lynette was making a very valid point dealing with love. But then I got silly. So enjoy as we fly off the handle and get totally out of the spirit into the land of ridiculous. And Lynette, uh, she really tolerated my silliness. It was cute. But anyway, have a good laugh and join us sometimes when we have our services. Love is strong. And um, a lot of people think I was just talking to the Lord the other day about how his love is and how um, I had it all twisted and looked at it completely. I, I was looking at the, my perception of him was incorrect. I was in error. And I was just talking to him about it. And he was just relaying to my spirit right now that the message that you were giving where some people may say like, well, she's fussing at somebody or that seems me. That was actually love. I, I know when I'm being loved, even when, you know, it may not appear like it. That, that God has many different ways of, right. of showing his love. And that's love for somebody to take the time to warn you mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to correct you. That They mm -hmm. don't have to. That, that's love. That's, that's love. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yes, know, of course. It's, not, it's not always this, it's not always this warm and fuzzy stuff that we have grown accustomed to. This, you know, oh, you know, you're my baby, my sugar drop. It's not always that. Sugar yes, drop. that sugary honey stuff is in there, but it's not always that way. And God says, you can't just love part of me. You gotta love all of me. Mm -hmm. All of me. That, that means his, his wrath and his, his love. He can be severe and he can be kind. You gotta love all of him. You don't want nobody to just love your toes, do you? You want no, you want them to love everything about you, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, don't, don't be picking out no body parts and just didn't throw the rest of me away. No, I come with the whole package. <laughs> Keep talking, I'll be right back. Check this I, out. That's what I meant. Yeah, because you hit a chord. <laughs> And when you hear the court talking about sugar toes and I just don't, don't just love your toes, you got to see this, y'all. I got to share this with you. Mm. I see it. I see it. Just milk his toes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, you so crazy. I see his toes, little twinkle toes. They're right on my mirror. Every time I go in, I kiss those toes. <laughs> no wonder you. No wonder that got you. But you know what? He, you loved every bit of every from the top to the bottom, the head, top of his head to the soles of his feet. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to hear what Lynette finished saying. She made a point very well. But as you can see, she's a little nutty too. Everybody in our group, we are all a little on the nutty side, <laughs> as you can see. I'm just making this video so some of you might want to join us on Saturday. Now, this is Lynette finishing her point. It gets really deep. I want you to hear. And it's comical, too. That's just basically what I was what I was telling the Lord. Like, I used to think that before I came to the Lord, I thought that um, the movies I used to watch where they were crucifying him and beating on him and all the stuff he went through. I used to watch those movies when I was a young girl, and I used to say, why why is why is he letting them do that and why are they treating him so mean? Because that's the way my mind processed it. So I always felt that love was weak and if you're if you if you're nice and you're loving, that means that you let people beat you up and, and do what they're doing to Jesus. And now that I'm getting to know him more and more every day, because I would never fully know him, it'll take a full eternity to know God. That's how big he is. I told him, I said Lord, and then the word came to me. I said, I had you twisted. I had, my, my, my whole perception of you was tw twisted. Love is horrible because if I remember correctly, Jesus, this is how I talked to him. I said, if I remember correctly, you told them, I laid down my life. Do you not know that I could call my father and have angels come over here and destroy all y'all? That's right. I'm paraphrasing. That's right. And I said, I, I said, I had you totally twisted. I was thinking all the time. That's why my whole thing growing up was, I ain't going to be no punk. I ain't going out like no punk. Ain't nobody going to disrespect me. Because I had my image and 
my mind was to be loving and stuff was soft and weak. And God said, oh, no, no, daughter, it's the opposite. Love is strong. It's strong. It mm. takes strength. It takes strength to keep me from slapping the crap out of you when you're sat there and talk to me. That's power. That's, that's power. That submission is power under strength. That's right. No, I'm not saying that wrong. Submission is, is not is not weakness. It's power under restraint. Right. Thank you, Lord, for praying to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it takes something to keep me. Because I know, I know how my temper rolls. For me not to knock you out, you up here talking trash. For me, yeah, that's power and that's love. That's because love wouldn't let me do it. Love rejoices against my head. My hand goes past your head. Mm-hmm.